Now, this is, a th we were counting up, I think it's about the seventh or eighth real person you've played. If, if, the, people, oh, yeah, if the people are still alive, do you, do you like to meet them? Do you seek them out? Yes, and in fact, I say to them, I've said this to Richard Phillips, and I said it to Charlie Wilson, uh, Jim Lovell, I said, now look, I'm playing you, so for good or for bad, I'm you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get that for a long time. I'm you. I am you. Deal with it. Now, as you, I'm going to say things you never said. <laughs> I'm going to go places you never were. I'm going to do things you never did. That being the case, I'd like to be as authentic as possible. <laughs> and the rest is trading cards. And when you meet them, are you just looking for their blessing, or do you kind of absorb something? Do you get something out of it? I do want to know what they have to say about it, because they've always read the screenplay, and I want to say, if you think anything is absolute horsecock in this, let me know, because did, what did I just say? <laughs> we all heard you. If there's, some, if there's some nonsense in this, please. I didn't please know that was an expression. Let us know. <laughs> um, uh, you want to know if they have any problems because there's things that just would never happen. You want to, you want to be right and authentic. But really what I'm looking for is a tick, a gesture, a, a, a posture, a way to stand, a, a turn of phrase that I, can, that I can turn into my own and, and reflect them somehow. Because it's inevitable, ladies and gentlemen, we will be queuing up to see the Anthony Joshua story. So uh, when the biopic is made, uh, who, who would you like to play you? Some hack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I will say things you never said. I will do things you never did. I will go places places I've never, never been. That being said, you are going to be, I'm going to be you. Now, we've got a picture of you at the Emmys. There you are, being graduated oh, by Alexander Skarsgård. You are uh, so provocative, Graham. <laughs> Why are you showing that? It's a lovely moment of celebration, I Nicole. I kissed my husband, well, too. Well, he is right there. <laughs> It looks like Keith is applauding the kiss. He's like, That's a good kiss. Yeah, good kiss, guys. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Actually, I'm, oh. I did kiss him because, but, but you gotta understand, I did everything with Ali. I'm like, you know, that. We that, saw it. <laughs> Yeah. I've got an amazing, <laughs> supportive, gorgeous husband who I love more than anything in the world. And, and I gave Alex yeah. a congratulatory kiss and he's like a, a mannequin. Yes. <laughs> Ellie, <not> a mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> the, the last time, the last time we were here, actually Keith was here with you and uh, he yes. was being very tight-lipped about your 50th birthday celebration. Oh, right. So what had he organised? Um, he did some fireworks and um, <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> and we'll draw a veil there. Um, you've, got, you've got so many movies in the pipeline, lots of things coming out. Mm -hmm. But I noticed still no sign of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot that everyone wants. Yeah! yeah. Man. Make it for them. <laughs> I'd have to be Uncle Phil in that one. Right? <laughs> I'd have to be 50, you know. Well, hey, come on, Aunt Viv, I'm 50. I can't go out on my own. <laughs> I didn't know you did, but, you, but then you did drive. You drove the fans wild because you posted this. Uh, this uh, so yeah. how did this happen? Did you buck into them, or like uh, was, it a, was it a reunion? What no. Was it? So every every year, uh, Karen has a charitable event, and she hosts a lunch with the cast of The Fresh Prince. So we do that every year, and it'll be, you know, 10 or 12 people from around the world that have won this wow. lunch. So that's, a, that's in uh, Los Angeles, and the people flew in, and we have the lunch <coughs> with the, the fans who gave the most to charity. And you mentioned, you mentioned you would play Uncle Phil. A weird thing happened. Mm -hmm. You, uh, I think you were in Africa, and you yeah. bungee jumped. A bungee jumped, yes. Okay. Some people filmed this, and yes. then you filmed the rest. So here you are. Yeah, a bungee jump. So there you go. And then you're filming it yourself on, like, a GoPro or something. GoPro, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. people notice that if you freeze frame it at a certain point, yes. you look remarkably like... <laughs> Crazy, right? Yes! Yeah. Uh, you're was... never bungee jumping again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
usually when I, uh, you know, introduce the couch, I say, do you all know each other? Uh, but now, Jimmy, you and I, bit gooseberry, because this is, I think, the first time we've ever had this, that you guys, you dated at one point. Yeah. Uh, Helen and I? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, darling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We didn't date, we lived together. We lived oh, together, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Four That's years. We were, yeah, we were, we were a, a, a serious item for a while, yeah. But I remember Kieran Hines and myself, we did this film Excalibur together. Yeah. 1980. Our first movie for all of us, really. That was wasn't it, it, really? We were, so, we were so green and ignorant about filmmaking. But I remember being out of the set, this was Ardmore Studios. Oh, in yeah. Dublin. And uh, Helen had a break. She was filming, but she was in costume. And we were there just visiting. We hadn't started work yet. And uh, the first AD or the second AD said, would you like to meet Helen Mayer? And I said, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> so she walked from like 100 yards away, dressed in, as Morgana Le Fay. And Kieran's my oldest friend, and we both went, oh, fuck. <laughs> So I was smitten. <laughs> I think Kieran was smitten too. I was certainly smitten. I never smitten. knew that. You've <laughs> never told me that before. That's amazing. Oh! oh you never told me that before. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so you... <laughs> but we're suddenly hearing about all these famous people that he asked out. And you are one of them. <gasps> yeah. What? Yes. yes. I know. <laughs> Yeah. First lady, mm, I could have changed the course of history. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, we were doing Primary Colours, uh, which was a film about the uh, about the Clintons and about that. Yeah. That it was at Universal. It was ninety seven. So it was a long time ago. So actually, one only associated Senior Trump with tasteless architecture at that point <laughs> um, and well a, a still a boundless sense of narcissistic kind of madness but I was in my little trailer which was a normal trailer and it had a phone like a proper phone with a you know landline, landline. Yeah. sort of trailer though so it's kind of yeah. and I no one had ever rung me on it nor had I ever used it in fact I assumed it was not a working machine and it rang one day and I picked it up and uh, it was Donald Trump Donald Trump. What? Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump was on the other end of the phone going, Hi, it's Donald Trump here. And I thought someone was having a laugh. And I said, Oh, fuck off. And he said, No, I'm ringing to um, ask you if you would like to, you know, um, come and stay in one of my lovely apartments and uh, maybe we could have dinner. And, um, and I just didn't know what to say. I was just absolutely astounded because how did you get my number? I mean, a number that I didn't have <laughs> in the trailer. Yeah. And so I just said I'd get back to him. <laughs> and I'm in so many ways I wish I had. Because if I had gone out with him for dinner, I could have done that. <laughs> and then we would all have known. <laughs> and then maybe he wouldn't have been president. You know? Now, I'm sure you all saw the, the footage in, in, it was on the papers and things on, online, of the accident. Yes, yes. And I think we all kind of thought, well, how did you break an ankle doing that? Because it looked like you should have broken your jaw or something like that. I know, everyone <laughs> said that was the stunt. I mean, I'm going to run across and hit the side of the wall and then pull myself over. That wasn't the mistake. So you were always meant to not yes, land on the roof? Always. OK, so uh, what you've done is you brought us some footage. Mm -hmm. I think this is so cool to see this from the different angles. This is what I... I yeah. can't watch this. I, 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 I haven't watched it yet. Oh, actually, no, I have to say, most of it's fine. There's one clip, but I will we'll warn, warn you, you, it's not for the squeamish. Gross. So you okay. see, I'm wearing two wires. They're basically just safety wires because I'm, I go at a full tilt and I'm sprinting as hard as I can and I hit the side of the wall. And I, that's the stunt. I'm, I hit the side of the wall and then I'm chasing after Henry, actually. And uh, I hit the side of the wall. All his fault. I blame him. I hit the side of the wall, and then I, I climb up on the wall, and I'm supposed to run past Kevin. Okay. So we've got uh, this is the shot from behind you. So this yes. is you see the the speed and the momentum of the run, and it's in London. There we go. So it's keeping me up. Okay. And... So here he goes. Look at that. Whoa! And whoa! Now, 
<laughs> it's good noise, everybody. <laughs> but, that, but, that, but you get my point that you think, how did you break a leg? So let's look at yes. it from the side. Oh, no, this this is it from the side. <laughs> oh, no. no, 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 this isn't the bad one. This isn't the bad one, Rebecca. So this is from the side. Here we go. We shot it with three cameras. Oh, my okay, gosh. here he goes, and boom! <laughs> now, now we've got a camera which focuses on the foot. Now, if you are squeamish, don't watch, don't it. watch this. Because so, still hasn't seen it. They <laughs> keep trying to show it to me, and I'm like, no! <laughs> I mean, a bone doesn't pop out or anything, but it is an odd angle for anyone's foot to be at. Nobody's foot should ever have to do this. Yeah, ever. here we go. Here we go. Here oh, we my go. gosh. So I he jumps that speed, that momentum. Here we go. Look at... And now watch that. Watch this. <laughs> Why? Here is why Tom Cruise gets paid the big bucks, okay? <laughs> because this is it from the front angle, okay? So you've just seen what's happened to his foot. Now watch this. I knew I broke it instantly. So you're down. Now anyone else would go, well, that's over. No. <laughs> up he gets. Keep up he gets. Running. And he's running. <laughs> I got a letter with a script saying uh, we've, we've, we're making Paddington 2 and there's this part of an extremely self-obsessed ex-famous actor now fallen on hard times. <laughs> I was a fraction hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it was a very funny script and, it's, and in, in a way it was therapeutic. I, I have deep reservoirs of... <laughs> actually narcissism and neurosis and <laughs> anger and hatred of others to, to <laughs> that I was able to tap. Did you base it on specific actors? Well, as I say, a lot of it came from me, uh, <laughs> in a way, sort of self-portrait. But there were, there were actors from my past. Uh, in the 80s, I did theatre. And, uh, <laughs> uh, remember that. I remember that. <laughs> I, know some, no, I mean, there were some brilliant characters. There was a wonderful old boy in the theatre who... Uh, he was so good and... and you know, you, you'd be, the show would start at 8, but at 3 p.m. from his dressing room, you'd start to hear, Nimini, 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 <laughs> Ma, Ma, Squanchy Mouse, Loud Lion. <laughs> <laughs> Loud Lion. Uh, and he, 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 as a result, had a wonderful voice, and he, he was just, he was marvellously smooth and marv seamlessly pervy. He used to, uh, <laughs> I, I was sharing a dressing room with another young actor, and he, he always used to knock on our door before a show, pretending it was to say good luck, but actually it was to see us in our pants. And... <laughs> <laughs> Different times. Different times. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in Paddington 2... <laughs> But now, Will Ferrell, you have a love of dance, I know. Um, now, if, if Shirley volunteered to show you a couple of simple moves... Well, I mean, yes, of course. But <laughs> I, I can already tell she doesn't believe in my ability. <laughs> I mean, everyone got rave reviews. <laughs> you had that funny left arm. Top <laughs> liver. I, have, I had the bad <laughs> left arm. <laughs> well, you could make up for it now, right? Yeah. Do you want to do, what, what could you show me very quick? I could show you a cucaracha. Okay, could, fine. You know, you know that it's, you're playing Hero, the music, right? Is that okay, yes, yes, yes. Because that's a rumba. Okay. So a rumba? rumba is a sensual dance. It's a dance Wait, of love. Wait, hold on. Are we doing a cucaracha or rumba? Which is... <laughs> the action we're going to use is a cucaracha, but the dance we're going to do is the rumba. I'm totally lost. If you try not here. to get too excited down in the nether region. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. How so, about if you could just go side, replace, close? If you could just do that for me. Side, replace, close. Can you do that? I love that? that I'm the only one who How about to do you this. come over here? <laughs> me too, I love it too. Let's just do that too. together. And <laughs> side, replace, <laughs> close. Side, replace, <laughs> close. No matter what I do. Loud, right? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but whatever I do, replace, <laughs> close. Side, replace, <laughs> close. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah. So no matter what I do, you're going to do that. My left arm is acting up. <laughs> <laughs> Are we okay. ready for the music? Yes, we're ready okay. for the music. Okay, let's play the music. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Oh, yeah. What, uh, uh, yeah. You ready? I'll start you. Oh, okay. 
Can you keep that Did rhythm? Probably not. <laughs> Doesn't oh. matter what I do. Oh, I just keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You were just reunited with uh, Robert Redford in. Uh, it's you have to be careful how you say it. Our souls. <laughs> <laughs> our, our souls at night. Um, our souls. Our souls in, in Ireland. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure the audience tested our that souls. title. Um, our, 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 our souls, souls. at night. <laughs> God, but you, you yeah. first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Jane. <laughs> but you first worked with Robert Redford nearly 60 years ago when you yes. worked with him. Yeah. What an amazing thing. It's like bookends of your life. You know, in the beginning of our movies together, we checked into a hotel as newlyweds who hadn't done it yet. And at the end of our careers, we're making. Well, no, my career is going to keep going, but his won't. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of his career, <laughs> we do a movie where we're checking into a hotel to do it for the first wow. time. No way. Oh, yeah, oh, and I re while we were shooting the scene, I thought, this feels familiar. Hey, Bob, you remember? No, we didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and is that true? He is stopping now. That's what he says. But he won't really. Well, he should. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, tell you what, let's practice your suspicious poker faces. Yeah. So you're suspicious, but you didn't do it. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just imagine someone on the sofa has just let one rip. <laughs> okay, already you're terrible, Ken. You're useless. <laughs> you're the detective. But someone has let one rip, but I didn't <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what's so terrible. <laughs> Okay, come on, focus everyone. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, somebody, somebody has let one drop. Is it Josh? He looks like a farter. He suspects Ken. Ken had a big lunch. Michelle has never farted in her life. <laughs> Judy's smelling it really strong. <laughs> John is channeling a bloodhound. <laughs> or is it the host? <laughs> you would think, I mean, you know, we think of it as a leading man, you know, ladies' man, but you haven't actually done that many um, love scenes. No. How, uh, how, why is that? How is that? Um. Uh... Oh. <laughs> no, I just haven't had the opportunity. You know, I've, I've done a lot of films where you know, there's a lot of guys. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's a... <laughs> no, that's not true. Yeah, I just haven't. That's had... no excuse. No. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I just, you're right. I'm trying to say. No, no, no. I just haven't been. How can I say? I just haven't been in that, a That'd be a real good movie. <laughs> what are you I'm not, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, but no, no, I haven't. I'm going to get the tag. I'm going to get the tag. in a mountain somewhere. Um, yeah, but, but the director, the director had never directed a love scene. Is this right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, so. Awkward. Kate Winslet, step forward. I'm afraid forward. I had to get quite bossy because... <laughs> <laughs> so I've done a few of these kinds of scenes before and so we get there and poor Hanny, our director, he's such a lovely man and, and he was really quite nervous and he had an extensive shot list and I'm thinking, oh my God, we are absolutely never going to get all this done. What kind of scene is this anyway? There's like 25 shots. And, uh, and Idris was, 
You were a little bit nervous, weren't you? Not really, no. OK. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just... That was my game, you know, to just get in there. <laughs> anyway, so everything was moving quite slowly, and I'm like, right, look, OK, we need to really start filming this. What, what's with all this kind of chat? And Hanny said, oh, actually, you know, I'm really kind of nervous. I've never done a... St I've actually never... I really haven't shot anything like this before at all. And Nidra said, no, and I haven't done much of it either. And I went... OK, boys. OK. <laughs> Let's put the camera over there, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. And, and then Idris said, keep your socks on. And I'm like, keep my socks on? <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is off. What's with the, what's with the socks? He said, no, I've got a, I've got a, a, a foot thing. I've got a thing. You know, just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a thing. <laughs> to come off and they were, you know... Hobbit feet. <laughs> things going on. I would have been... This, this was a moment. This was a moment. Oh, my because, God. But I have the... I it's have this, Listen, I've got very, very big feet. And, and they're not particularly beautiful feet either. I shall keep right. them, I shall keep them inside right. the shoes that they're in. Anyway, so I'm thinking, well, Paul Rudd just doesn't want to see my feet because maybe he just does not like feet in general, and that's the whole thing. It's the opposite, ladies and gentlemen. Idris loves feet. <laughs> Listen. Everyone, take your shoes off. <laughs> I can't wait to see this movie. <laughs> In your book, you you tell a story of uh, young love. I think you were on your honeymoon. In Europe, <laughs> yes, and you were on a. Was it, you were driving, but on a train. We went to our travel agent to talk about this. We were mid thirties when we got married. And we knew that we wanted to start a family, so this was like it. We wanted this honeymoon to be really spectacular. <laughs> Spent five weeks in Europe, and it was all over. So we started in Switzerland. We were going to rent a car and then go to Italy. And the travel agent says, oh, by the way, instead of driving around the Alps up and over, you take a train. It's a flatbed car. It takes three cars bumper to bumper on a flatbed car. And then they put, you know, you, and then you go through the Alps. By the way, he says, wink, wink, there are three tunnels. The first tunnel is about five minutes. The second tunnel is about eight to ten minutes. <laughs> the third tunnel is 50 minutes long. Oh. If you're a honeymooner, and I said, say no more. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> I can be the only guy. So I told my wife, and she exhaled and said, okay. <laughs> we, we actually, we're on the train. There's a, a van in front of us with a bunch of Italian families in front. And behind us, I mean, as close as you are, I can see the people behind us. Uh, two couples, two Italian couples. Uh, and so we, we start going and we go into the... And it's a massive experience, emotionally and physically. <laughs> and the wind is whipping through and it's pitch dark. You cannot see oh, anything. Wow. And it's, it's fascinating. And we come out of the tunnel into the station, and I say to Robin, that's one. <laughs> we go up, we start again, we go through the second. <laughs> Pitch dark, can't see anything. We come out of it, that's two. And she's like, oh, God. <laughs> we start the third tunnel, wait till it's absolutely pitch dark. Here we go. <laughs> it's a small rental with a stick shift. And I'm, like, trying to get my trousers off. <laughs> she is trying to lower her chair. <laughs> and, I'm, and we can't see anything. You cannot see anything. So it's all by feel. <laughs> and it's like, oh, what's that? Awesome. And Amazing. The, one thing I learned for sure is that <laughs> never be completely nude when transferring from one seat over the stick shifter. <laughs> Keep your trousers on and, and, and do it afterward. Then you can't. But, you know. See, funny, I would recommend it, but that's... <laughs> sorry, sorry, Cynthia. No, no, go on. So we are in flagrante, as they say, and what's happening is that my eyes are adjusting. I can see her profile. She's a beautiful woman. Love her with all my heart. And I could see her, and it's her pretty face, and it's great. And I think the eyes are, are getting... No. The eyes aren't getting used to total pitch black. What happened is that we were coming to a station. And we came... Boom! Sunlight! Everything! <laughs> now, imagine I'm like this, right? On top of my... <laughs> and I can 
didn't see the the two couples, the Italian couples in in the car behind us with their wine. And, and the And the women are going, stop it, stop it. And, and, and my wife says those three words to you, who every husband wants to hear. Get off me. <laughs> so I get off the Italian family, the, the grandmother's turning the heads of the children, and I'm struggling to put my trousers back on. And I never found out, we never found out, if this was a gag, if he would, if this travel agent did this on purpose, knew all along it wasn't 50 minutes, it was more like 15. No, 15 minutes though, man. 15. <laughs> Tonight, we're collecting people's special skills. Yeah. And uh, so what might you delight... If we're at a party, what would you delight people with? I, I, I haven't done it for a long time, but I used to um, do a, a Velociraptor impression. <gasps> oh. She is pissing on you all. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen it yet. Level. We haven't seen it yet. It's my favorite <laughs> exactly. thing. We haven't yeah. seen it yet. But, OK, yeah. so what, do you need anything for this? Oh, um, maybe these shoes off. Okay, do you, do you need well, help with that? Or no, no, <laughs> I, don't know, I can get them off. It's, you know, the famous scene where the Velociraptor is looking for the children? Yeah. Oh, yes. In the kitchens? Yeah. Oh, yes, I do know, yes, yeah. I kind of reenact that. I mean, be kind to me. Imagine there's some children that I'm running after and they're all scared. It's usually I'm doing that at a party and there's lots of kids. Okay. Do you need to jump on a table or anything? No, I just need a bit of space. This okay. is good. Okay, excuse, she's an actress. Just explore the space. Yeah. <laughs> explore the space. Lovely. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Oh, she's happy. She's happy. Do I, should I get out of the way? No, I'm, I'm okay here? No, because you can be part of it. Okay, okay. Yeah. We've got a little bit of music. A little bit of music. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Goodbye, yeah. Korea. Okay. <laughs> The expectation, the hopes for this will how Ridley Scott's involved, Harrison, you're involved. But presumably, this isn't the first time. Not just involved. No. <laughs> you're in it. You're in it. You're on the poster. Yeah. Yeah. My question is this. So, there must have been mentions of a sequel between... It was 1982, wasn't it, when it came out? So, between then and now, so wh why now, why not before? I guess because Ryan wasn't available. <laughs> 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 well, for many years he wasn't available. Yeah. Yes. Well, not for 30 years. <laughs> but they were waiting for me to grow up. <laughs> But they decided to have to go ahead anyway. <laughs> no, they finally yeah, came up with a good uh, with a story. I read it and I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great. And I, as I read it, I read about the character that um, uh, Ryan. Ryan. It's Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> came to play and I said and I and with great enthusiasm I called up the producers and I said this is great I can't wait to get blah 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 and uh, what a great part why don't we see if we can get um, a Ryan Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Gosling yeah. and they said oh uh, I don't know how to Gosling Gosling Ryan Ryan Gosling <laughs> And I said, why don't, this is a great part for uh, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> yeah. I read somewhere where back then some of the special effects were simpler than maybe yeah. they are now. So the, the Jedi mind control, when you can yeah. move objects, uh, explain how they did that. <laughs> well, first of all, George called Star Wars the most expensive low-budget movie ever made. <laughs> and what he meant was every penny had to go up on the screen. Uh, and the ingenuity was fantastic. So, for instance, when I was hanging upside down in the Wampa Cave, they had fishing wire attached to it. And uh, 
pulled it out of my hand and then just reversed the film. Oh. And so okay. it's very simple, but I mean, the, the ingenuity is tremendous. Now they CGI it and spend way too much money. <laughs> Can we see? Can we see if we can recreate it in a very low-tech way? I'm game. Okay, so if I give you, yeah. so if we move that, All if right. I give you an orange, no, no, you're good. If you okay. give you an orange, well, maybe you better move him farther in case my aim is off. So you, if you could try to get it just in that general vicinity. Okay. So hang on, wait, 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 wait. So we've got to look astonished. So this, this will make sense. Oh. We've got to look astonished <laughs> when Mark is holding the orange, and then and then slowly back to nothing as the orange lands. Okay. 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 So, we all set? I'm, I'm, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> I think that was good. I think that was good. Okay. Okay. I think, was that a good one? Was that good? Okay. We'll okay, let's, it, let's watch we'll back. Let's, it in editing. Yeah, let's watch back. Let's watch back. Here we all go. Right. Here we go. Okay. okay. Because you had picked perfect one, there was no competition. You nailed it. Yeah, I think so. I was the first person ever cast in Pitch Perfect. I was cast four months before anybody else. Um, and I did have to sing in the audition. Um, and I was, like, a little nervous, but then I just thought, just crush it. <laughs> just <kind of. laughs> what did you sing for your audition? Um, I sang Lady Gaga, Edge of Glory, but yes. I did my own body percussion <laughs> to accompany it. How do you do that? Should I try to... Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, so I haven't done this in, like, seven years. Um, <laughs> the... Okay, so... Do we need goggles? Are you going to be the casting director? Yeah. So, okay, I'm rebel, I'm five foot four, still single. Um, here's my song. Okay. I'm on the edge of glory And I'm hanging on a moment of truth I'm on the edge of glory and I'm hanging on a moment with you. I'm on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. And I'm Beautiful. It's something like that. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We had a selection of uh, special skills on the show tonight, and, uh, and Gary, you brought us a real treat. Uh, am I right to say it's a, it's a, it's something physical? Yes, it's yes. physical. It's physical. Yeah. Uh, I so don't know if it's very special. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what we're going to watch, or should we just see it? Well, uh, yes, it's some. My my wife actually recorded it on an iPhone in the trailer, and it's Winston Churchill doing James Brown. <gasps> this sounds special. It's a new level. Uh, so yeah. here is Winston Churchill. This is so many layers. Yeah. This is so meta now. Yeah. It's Gary Oldman does Winston Churchill doing James Brown for the Oscar. <laughs> Now, obviously, you know, three sex symbols on our couch tonight, but uh, Jamie Dorn, oddly, it didn't, you, you arrived at sex symbol status quite late in life. Did. Yes. So, uh, tell us a story about, uh, I think you were, what were you, about 15? This is one of the worst stories in my locker. <laughs> um, and I've, I've Unpack it. Big debates about whether I should tell it, but fuck it. Um, <laughs> Well, I, I was. This actually had a big effect on me as a kid. It has a big effect on, I'm sure, lots of lots of kids. But I was very sporty when I was a kid. And but I was a late developer. I was small. You know, I, I wasn't very hairy. I was just one of those guys who just wasn't. You know, I was a bit behind. And I was young for my year, and that had a big effect on me. Whatever. Anyway, 
Uh, I was sort of balancing playing rugby at school and, and doing a bit of amateur dramatics on the side. And uh, it also culminated in, we got the final, Liam will know this, of the medallion shield, which when you're 15 is the biggest thing that could happen. And uh, I went to school called Methody and we were playing into our main rivals at Ravenhill, which is Ulster's ground. And it was a, such a massive thing, there was going to be a big party afterwards. And, uh, but also that same night befell the, the, the All-Ireland final of the you know, Amateur Dramatic Society where, where I, was, <laughs> I was in uh, performing uh, Chekhov's The Cherry Orchard. Um, and I think I was a waiter or something. I was on stage a lot, but didn't really have any lines, didn't have anything to say. And I thought, right, I'll be able to go play rugby, hopefully win that, and then go and do the play, and then go to the party for the rugby afterwards. Now, I was 15, I looked about seven. Um, <laughs> I, um, I had no hair or anything. And anyway, in the play, they'd given me this sort of black, very acrylic, highly flammable wig that they just to cut off and yoo-hoo to my face to give me <laughs> to give me a beard yeah. to give the appearance I was yeah. older. So I thought it would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> after we after we the curtain came down on this play, um, and I'm going to this party after, and you know I might meet a girl and maybe she drops a hand. <laughs> So I had the idea to, to maybe cut off some extra hair off the very... <laughs> By the way, I was a very fair child. I had long hair. <laughs> so I went into the, the, the dressing room, I went into like, the toilet, and like, cut off all this very curly, <laughs> jet, jet black hair. <laughs> I put it in a wee pile and got my yoo glue and just... <laughs> kicked it around there. Stuffed in. I remember standing in front of the mirror. Well, that looks all right. <laughs> I mean, just the lengths you go to. Anyway, obviously went to the party. I think I kissed a girl. I was sort of really or urging her to sort of, you know, without forcing her. <laughs> urging her to sort of go down because on this one for one night only. <laughs> it's actually quite an impressive place to put your hand. Um, <laughs> Anyway, that didn't happen, and actually, thank God it didn't, because I got home, it was a car crash down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a car crash. Yeah. Oh, right. well, was, was the removal painful? The, I'll tell you why the removal was so, like, painful, physically and emotionally. I did actually, I did actually have about three pubes. <laughs> natural, natural, yeah. naturally developed pubes. Mm, mm. They went as soon as yeah. I... <laughs> Because yeah. Jack, Jack Black, in the movie, this is something I've heard about you, that for every movie you do, mm -hmm. uh, you write and perform a theme song. Well, and yet, <laughs> I've seen Jumanji, yeah. and there didn't appear to be any, it, any well, of you. The movie hasn't been officially released yet, so it's not oh, it's my time to do doing something that. funny. I got you. Thank you. Um, you're my point. <clears throat> no, I, but, I yeah. told you to you're fix my this time. time. <laughs> I told you. Thank to you, guys. Stop for fixing my time. <laughs> I'm getting a talk for the first time. Has this been a very long press tour? I, I, uh, I love these guys. I wrote a song. We, we were all kind of messing around with a theme song. Uh, and uh, me and Nick Jonas actually put the finishing touches on Ooh. it. And we shot a music video, hope, hoping to release it soon. But, um, do you want a little taste of oh, it? Oh, you please, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. might be the only time you hear it. I don't know if it's going to make the final cut. <laughs> but it's uh, pretty powerful. It goes, Jumanji, it's a jungle inside your soul. Somewhere deep inside at the end of the world. <laughs> Survival, your only goal. Yeah. <laughs> Plunge the jewel inside. Say the name of the game. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Level upon level. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Um, now, normally, ladies and gentlemen, on a, on a show like this, we would uh, show a clip of Mission Impossible, but you haven't finished the film yet. Sorry. So, uh, it's probably not going to happen. So, we thought we'd, we'd make it a snatch of one of our own. Now, uh, one of the most iconic stunts that you do, Tom, is the running away from something exploding. You're very good at it. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got some stills. There's uh, running away from a van. What? Oh, that's in the channel tunnel there. Oh, yeah, the tunnel. Uh, and this is the exploding fish tank. Oh, yes. There you go. Oh, I've just looked. That's a very good move. Yes. I like that. Touchdown. That's yeah. excellent. Score. That is very good. So, and presumably timing is key. Because oh, these are real, they're real explosions. They're real explosions. So, key. yes. That one was particularly very crazy. Was this the one where no one properly told you the timing? Yeah, the, I mean, the guy was over there, and he said, okay, we're going to go on three. And he started going three, two, one. And I said, whoa, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> and it was stop waiting. You know, we have an explosion going to go over my head. And he said, uh, I said, you just said on three. He said, well, I meant three. What, what, what does that mean? <laughs> so then we're going to go. I said, just everyone, please. It was like two in the morning, and they're setting it up. And there's broken, there's glass and just tons of water. And he said, well... I'm going to three, two, one. And I said, then I, do I go then or do I go, do I go on one? Like, when do I go? <laughs> what, do I go on one? Are you going to push the button? Is it going to explode on one? I, it was, you know, he kind of looked at me like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Around then. Around then. <laughs> just go. No. Just, just run. When you hear the explosion, just go. Yeah, you really ought to run because it's very dangerous. Yes, it's yeah. very dangerous. I'd run really fast if I were you. Yeah, if I was you, I wouldn't hang around. What, is it? what we've done is uh, we've got a, a green screen here, so we could raise up the green screen at, at, at great speed. <laughs> We're going to get some members of the audience to, to do this. But in terms of this, Tom, so what we're going to do, they're going to start back there. They're going to run. They're going to run, okay? They're going to run to here. And then the, that's the top of the expression. And then they're going to, what they're going to get height and presumably facial expression. So what, in terms of jumping, what's the best way to get height? Are they going to yeah. land in the mats? Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, first of all, watch your ankle on the mat. because. <laughs> He knows this. He knows yes. this. Okay, let's get some you people. Want height? Let's get people to do this. Uh, we'll, Mike, we'll get to you. Hang on. Uh, who now? Uh, who wants to do it? You want to? You want to do it? Okay, you can come do it. Come and do it. What's your name? Jamie. Jamie. Lovely. Okay, this is Jamie. Uh, it's not going well. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's come, come this way. Come this way. Up you, you go. You shouldn't let him do it. He fell off the steps. <laughs> We have to say, up you go. Yep. Uh, okay. So, uh, Tom, tips for Jamie before he's So, what sort of ex facial expression should he go for? Um, Fear. Just whatever feels natural. Just. Yeah, the most important thing is don't get blown up. Don't get blown up. <laughs> Try not to get blown up. Yeah, that's yes. it. Okay. Try not to you're, get blown you're up. You're escaping. You're yes. escaping. You're escaping. escaping. Got... But you're brave. <laughs> yeah, you're brave. <laughs> he's brave. Yes. You know, you can't look terrified. You're, I, you're frightened, but you're still brave. Yes. <laughs> frightened, but brave. I'm not going to go too high. What? Yeah, no, I'll do it for you. I like that. I'm not going to go too high. Can <laughs> you go? Do what you feel comfortable. So, how, what's the countdown? Is it three, two, one? Three, two, one, go. Okay. So you're going on one. On three. On no, three. What? On three. Three. No, one. One. One, one go. You do it, Simon. Three, two, one. I, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Jamie. Okay. So it's three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, well done, Jamie. Should we, should we see it? Yes, it's Okay, we can, we can see it. Have a seat, have a seat. Let's, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, there's Jamie. He's running, he's running. Oh! He was loving it. Loving life. 